go. Welcome in everyone to Life Without Limits, where there are no limits to the life that you can achieve. My mission is to help you to grow and learn and release any blocks that you have towards your success because I want you to succeed. In that light, I also want to help families and children succeed. So, being as that segue is so important, my esteemed guest today, I feel so honored to have her on the show, is Dr. Pita. All right, Stapleton, and she's from Australia. Go, Australia! <laughs> she is an associate professor in the Masters of Clinical Psychology program at Bond University in Queensland. She is a registered clinical and health psychologist, and she definitely is no. I don't know if it's a world leader, I'd like to say the world leader, <laughs> researcher in emotional freedom techniques and research for children. In 2014, Dr. Stapleton was awarded the American Harvey Baker Research Award for Meticulous Research by the Association of Comprehensive Energy Psychology. I'm reading this because I don't want to mess it up. In 2015, Peter received the Global Weight Management Congress Industry Professional Award of Excellence and was named the Gold Coast Woman in Business. In 2016, she was awarded the greatest contribution to the field of energy psychology by the Association of Comprehensive Energy Psychology. Dr. Peter Stapleton is the author of EST for T EFT for Teens and developer of Tapping in the Classroom, an online training for teachers worldwide, which I am going to take, even though I'm not a teacher, I want to take this online course so I can bring it to you out there in your classroom. I am Joan Kaler. I am an EFT teacher and trainer. I am a licensed professional counselor in Pennsylvania and a consultant throughout the world. And I teach children how to tap. Without further ado, I want to welcome in Dr. Peter Stapleton. Welcome. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for the invitation. It's lovely to connect. And we'll get to meet in person soon. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen out there in podcast land, isn't her accent just charming? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> and they're thinking, no, Joan, you have the accent. <laughs> so, Dr. Stapleton, tell us how you got interested in emotional freedom techniques. Joan, I've been uh, doing EFT for about 18 years now, so almost as long as yourself. Um, and... I, I laughingly say it was desperation, I guess, that opened me up to EFT coming in. I was working, I was a new graduate, I was working in eating disorders, so anorexia nervosa and bulimia nervosa, pretty standard eating disorders. But at the time, there wasn't a lot of uh, really solid techniques that were actually helping them to recover, especially adult sufferers. And I guess I was desperate. So I started to reach out to some colleagues because I started to feel ineffective as a therapist. And I had a friend, a colleague, he had a counseling background. And he said to me, I've come across this really weird technique, but I think it works. And I said, you're not selling it very well to me. <laughs> So he told me a little bit about it. He trained with Gary Craig at the time. It was very strange 18 years ago and certainly still included things like eye movements back then. But he came to one of my support groups that I ran for eating disorder sufferers and there was a young girl there who had a panic attack in the middle of the group. So he said, I'll take her out while I kept teaching and I'll help her. And I said, okay, that's fine because there was about 30 people sitting in front of her. And they were back within about five minutes and this young girl was calm and composed. And I, of course, was looking at him 
kind of saying, what have, what have you done? And after the group was over, he said, I did that tapping thing that I've been telling you about and it helped calm her down. And they were literally back and joined the group five minutes later. And of course, I was so curious by that point because I'd seen an outcome that I then went on to obviously study and uh, learn a little bit more, start to use it for clients. And certainly in the last 12 years, we've done a lot of research trials. So I say it was desperation. I may not have had it cross my path had I not been open to other techniques because it was all about my clients. I was trying to be the most effective therapist and it was finding traditional things weren't working. Yes. You were so surprised at the results of this. So then you started your study and where did you go to learn about EFT? I mean, ASAP was founded in 1998, I believe. So how did you get your yeah. training? Through it. So we, at the time, started to, colleagues and I started to look around. And there were two trainers on the Gold Coast at that time in my local area who had trained with Gary Craig. So they were running some original trainings. So we popped along to some of those. Um, I tapped on chocolate 18 years ago and um, wasn't expecting to give up my chocolate desire, but I did. And then after that, when we, Gary Craig started to release his certification program and we were also starting to do some research. So we were doing his program online and then, in amongst that he retired and I connected with Dawson Church. So I've since gone on to become an EFT universe trainer in Australia. So I actually do deliver their certification program for lay people and we do train health professionals here as well. So yeah, it's been an interesting journey and we colleagues and I often say, what would we do if we never came across this EFT tapping technique? We just don't know what our life would have looked like so isn't that the truth i can't imagine living my life or helping my clients without it it's just absolutely same <laughs> so i always tell my clients i am not excuse me <coughs> excuse me everyone who's listening i am not your traditional therapist i use chinese medicine really weird techniques yeah right <laughs> it's amazing how many of them joan are more open or have actually started to hear about it. So I guess we're down the track now and people go, oh, I've heard of that tapping thing, but they don't know too much more. So it's been really good. Well, when I explain to my clients what I do, I start with a battery and then show them the positive yeah. terminal at the top, the negative at the bottom. And I said, we have to get your battery turned around because I imagine that your battery is flipped. Yes. And then I go from there and, and help them breathe and get centered. And then we go on to do the tapping. Excellent analogy. Yeah, hold yeah. that thought for one sec. Okay, folks, I have tapped away my coughing attack and we are back. <laughs> but we were discussing how PETA found out about emotional freedom techniques, how she took the training from Gary Craig, how she is now a master trainer for EFT Universe, and then how she used it in her clinical work with eating disorders of anorexia and bulimia. And now she has this amazing program for children. How and why did you decide to create a program for children in the classroom? It's a funny story, Joan, and I guess um, sometimes maybe the universe has other plans because I didn't think it was part of mine. <laughs> so we had been doing a lot of research. All my research had been in food cravings, obesity, uh, emotional eating, because that's what I was very familiar with. We've been running all these trials. And of course, we got a lot of media out of that. So the media quite like stories where people have lost, you know, um, 30 kilograms or, you know, <laughs> 60 pounds, that kind of thing. <laughs> And we had a lot of these stories being sort of shown on like local and national news programs. And in those interviews, I would often talk about, look, it works really well for anxiety, anxiousness, food cravings. And out of that, some local school psychologists, school guidance officers had seen the news stories and they made contact and said, so does it just work for anxiety outside of any food cravings? And I said, yes, absolutely. And they said, will you come into our schools and teach our high achieving students how to use it for their anxiousness or their perfectionism or their procrastination? And I said, of course. So that opened a door and we went in and we've ended up training locally around 200 students that are 15 years of age. 
how to use it for their exams. So the school's allowed us to go in. It's been fabulous. And we've published all of that. So you can certainly um, access that and read the outcomes. Of course, the whole thing worked. Out of that, then, we had all the local schools and teachers say, can we come and learn how to do it so that we can do it in the classroom? So we spent a couple of years training teachers around Australia, New Zealand. Sometimes they'd fly from Hong Kong. And we couldn't keep up with the demand, which I guess is a good problem. But out of that, we sort of thought, how can we help teachers that might be on the other side? Well, we're just doing this sort of local thing. So we developed Tapping in the Classroom as an online training uh, and really happy to share about that today because this is the month that we actually launch it to the world. So we've spent the last year taking what we were teaching teachers in person and making it an online program so that any teacher, even if they're brand new to tapping, can put themselves through, self-paced through this online program and where they're in online support and they'll be able to go into a classroom and, and teach their students how to use it. We now have whole schools using it here locally. Every teacher is trained yeah. they, in every class. Yeah, so it's becoming quite normal for us. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much for doing this. I cannot wait to take the program and I cannot wait to share it with my school districts around that, where I live. And that's the point of it, to get it out into the world. With the technology we have today, anyone yes. can learn. Exactly right. And if it's really comprehensive and you've got online support, what we've found is people really can take this skill and start to deliver it. So yeah, we're really excited to release what, what we've developed. What I also love now is we can honestly say that there is research behind tapping. It is evidence-based. Exactly. So we now have over a hundred clinical trials published worldwide, uh, which is a, a way more than some other modalities that perhaps already have an evidence-based kind of tick of approval. Mm -hmm. So the research base continues to grow. So obviously we, we don't stop there. We, we have another six papers about to come out, you know, Dr. Dawson Church in America, David Feinstein. We have a lot of us that work together and that will continue to grow. And if anything, it, they're the pinnacle of research trials. So they have all of the things in them that we look for, like a control group or a comparison therapy or, you know, those kind of things. So they are very, very solid research. So you're absolutely right. It's hard to argue with the statistics. I know. I'm so excited about that. Yay. One of the things that I want to do is share with our audience, anyone who's viewing this podcast, I'm going to take them to your website, everyone. So for those of you watching, hold that thought for just one second here, and I'm going to bring up the training for online classroom. This is so cool. Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to move my screen up here a little bit. So as we can see, it says evidence-based EFT, training for existing health professionals in clinical emotional freedom technique. And then I'm going to scroll down here. So you all who are watching, and if you're listening, please go to, it is, da, 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 da. it is called evidence based eft.com all one word evidence based eft go to that website and then you will find this you can sign up i've already signed up this is a training for existing health professionals in clinical emotional freedom techniques it describes it you keep scrolling this is a really cool website peta Thank you, Joan. I'll let my guys know. <laughs> I, 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 what yeah, emotional freedom so. techniques, upcoming trainings, resource center. So bottom line, everyone out there, children, teens do not have to feel nervous, scared, do not have to feel anxious when taking tests, anxious about themselves, anxious if they're being bullied, Whatever emotional trauma teens are going through, and we know that there are a gazillion, this will help 
children and teens in the classroom. It helps with emotional regulation. It helps with test anxiety. Anything that's going on, EFT will help. Definitely. So I'm going to stop sharing this. I wanted to take everyone to your screen. So we're going to come back here. Yeah. Yay. <clears throat> I just encourage... PETA, one of the things I think some of our listeners would be interested in, say a child has test anxiety, what are some of the phrases you would give them before tapping? Yeah, so we definitely would ask them whether <coughs> doing Excuse me, everyone, go ahead. One -on -one or in a group, so it could be the whole classroom. We ask them, how do they feel? So we definitely try and focus on the feeling. So if they say, they feel it physically, we might use those as a word. So I feel the anxiety in my stomach. Okay, give me a word. How would we describe that? So the setup statement might be something like, even though I have this nervousness and it feels like butterflies in my stomach, I'm, I'm okay anyway. So we simplify the end of these phrases for kids, as I'm sure you know. Um, it might be, you know, even though I'm really worried. So it could be worry as a feeling about that test coming up because I haven't studied enough. <laughs> so sometimes it's around those words. Okay. Um, sometimes they worry that uh, they're not going to do as well as they their parents might. So they might be worried about mum and dad's reactions. So it is about making it specific. But what we do often in a classroom is we get lots of those things. We write them all on the whiteboard and then we start to work through them so that it lands with all of the students. And sometimes working in pairs uh, is a really good idea as well. So anything to do with physical sensation or what it might be that is making them really nervous about that test that's coming up. And I might just put out there, we often recommend that they do tapping after the exam or test as well. So once it's finished, sometimes they're still left with, I didn't know the answer to that question, or actually it was harder than I thought. So sometimes teachers are now doing five minutes tapping when it's all over, just so that they can let that go as well. So it's just sort of another extra bit that sometimes mightn't be so evident or obvious. Wonderful. That's that's a really great idea that I hadn't thought of to tap after the test is over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Works well. Specific tapping. And then they are, of course, more relaxed. And probably, I'm sure you've done studies on this, their scores are probably much improved. With yeah. The test. We had, we've had some teachers who came and trained with us in person that then went back to their classrooms and were using it all of the time and they tracked their students' results, their outcomes over the next sort of eight months and then just let us know. So they, they found exactly that, Joan, that the more they tapped before and after a test, the better their students' results went, whether it was mathematics or spelling. So they definitely saw just a, an increase that was kind of correlational with the tapping. And one of them said every time she forgot to do the tapping before the test started, the students would interrupt her and say, <laughs> we're now tapping. So they start to really enjoy, yeah, obviously feeling more relaxed. And then, of course, you know, frontal lobe is much more open to remembering mm -hmm. what you did study. So... Yeah, we've absolutely found that. I'm always so excited when one of the young people that I work with, when they come in my office and I say, oh, so you're feeling better. So what helped? And they go, I tapped on it. And I say, yes, all right. Yeah, yeah. What a gift, you know, for them to kind of know. Exactly. I can just, yeah, I can tap and I feel better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I tell people is everybody's doing it. You might not think so, or like you say, someone might say, oh, that tapping thing, I've heard of it. Yes. Mm, it's exactly. all over. It's unbelievable to think that Gary Craig created this in 1993, and here we are in 2018. I know. What a yeah, phenomenon. I know. <laughs> I know. He must sit back and watch this whole transformation that's happened. Yeah, it has truly been a gift. Like we said, you know, what would we have done if we didn't come across this oh. technique? Yeah. EFT and energy psychology and energy medicines are gifts. I'm very spiritual. Gifts from God that have come through you and Gary Craig, 
Donna and Eden, David Feinstein, ASEP, Roger Callahan, all my teachers, they, it's all come through. Um, the change has been phenomenal. I always tell my clients it's a difference. Traditional counseling is like taking the horse and buggy. When you learn tapping, it's like <clears throat> taking the space shuttle. Yeah, we're in the Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, the Ferrari. I like that better. <laughs> really fast. <laughs> yeah, really fast. Yeah. And then I always dangle the little carrot saying, now, if you don't want to be on medication, then you <laughs> tapping and you may not have to. <laughs> because no one comes into my office and tells me that they want to be on medication. No, um, same with our clients. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. Peter, what else would you like the world to know? about tapping, about you, and about emotional freedom techniques and your program tapping in the classroom. Yeah, maybe, because um, I know there's a lot of parents out there uh, that perhaps, you know, want to introduce it to teens. So we did write, and I've got one here, because these just turned up literally a week ago, um, EFT for teens. Oh, wow. So like, yeah, I have the hard copy of it. So, oh, cool. Um, okay, is that available on Amazon yet? It is. So... Kindle is there, but you can order, and these have just been printed, so you can actually get the hard copy now. Okay, hold that up. It's EFT for Teens, everybody, available on Amazon, authored by yourself, Peter, Dr. Peter Stapleton. Yes, it is. Yes, yes. All right. Whoa. It is written for a teen, so 12 to 18-year-olds, a 12-year-old could pick this up and, and cope with it. I have a teen she is 14 so she consulted and helped me with the topic areas because I was a bit far removed in age um, so that was fabulous but it is written so that they can take it into their bedroom or on the iPad and learn tapping learn how to do it and then there's lots and lots of areas of how they can use it so I'll just uh, give you some of those examples yes. we talk about you know how they can use it for all their different feelings like anger and jealousy and the school stuff and exams we cover all that but we talk about family issues you know if mum and dad are fighting how can you use tapping for your feelings we talk about goal setting if you've got a goal you want to come true how could you use tapping for that but we even cover things like um, how to use it for sports performance, sleeping. I think sleeping with teens, you know, is just crazy because yeah. of their electronics. How can they learn to? So it, there's a bit on that in there as well. Um, of course, positive tapping and discrete tapping like our, our finger. So we teach them how to do that under the table in the exam so they can actually tap on the finger points in the exam them itself and no one might notice. So that those kind of things. So my teen obviously has read it and she's like, yeah, it's a pretty good book. And I'm like, oh, well, there you go. There's the, uh, <laughs> the uh, validation. But absolutely designed to just have out there so that teens can kind of go, oh, I'm going to go and read this and do a little bit of this oh, in private. And so glad you skills. mentioned so that. I'm that has just come out. So it's a nice compliment. Today, yeah. And I will feature it also. Is that on any of your websites, Peter, the, the book itself? It so is, I can yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It is on the website and we do have it in the tapping in the classroom training so that teachers will become aware too, that they might actually want to. There's lots of children's books out there, but um, this one particularly just EFT for teens. Um, there's another couple out there for girls only, but this one covers right. things like sport performance for boys and things as well. So yeah, definitely. Um, low cost investment to kind of pick up a resource like that so well i'm going to Amazon. get one for myself after we finish our conversation and i'm going to feature it on the uh description in our podcast fantastic. so everybody can okay. see that too thank you that'd be great oh that's fantastic now if anybody anyone wanted to contact you so should they just go to your website yes uh, Let's see. Do you want them to contact you through email or just go to the website peterstapleton.com? Yeah, that's best. It's got an email function so they can send the email uh, if they wanted to ask anything, wanted to talk further. Obviously, my um, assistants handle that, but we can um, certainly, but we can supply them with anything they want. There's lots of information on that website about what we do. Uh, so best way to kind of contact 
Okay, I'm going to spell this out for anyone who's listening. It's P E T A S T A P L E T O N dot com. That is Dr. Peter Stapleton's website where you can get information. Bottom line is there is no child or teen that has to suffer anymore with any uncomfortable feelings, any fears, the days are gone. Now there is help available for teachers, for parents, for children. Uh, and thank you, Dr. Stapleton, for being a leader in this field. Uh, my pleasure, Joan. I think it picked me <laughs> more so. <laughs> I, like we've said, you know, what a gift. And I absolutely agree with what you just said. You know, there is no reason anyone has to have a distressed or uncomfortable feeling beyond what they want to have that for. So we have such a unique technique here that works fast and is non-invasive. Yep. to feel more relaxed yeah and little ones little ones can do it as well so yep. you know we've got four and five year olds that tap along so. tap along i have a tappy bear in my office that i introduce it with yep. <laughs> yes. Yes. oh thank you so much for being here today letting the world know the resources that you have what is available wow and so much help available for children and parents and teachers Thank you, Joan. It's been my absolute pleasure. And thank you for the invite. Oh, are you kidding? I have looked forward to this for so long. So I'm going to say bye to our listeners. Bye to our viewers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And stay tuned because remember, life has no limits.